three, two, one, go. All right. How's it going, Lambrodroid? Glad to have you this early, as always. All right. First run, we do not retire the hero. Ooh. Oh my gosh, can't believe. Really messed up bad enough that I got hit there. Yeah. Other weapon, that's good. Whoop. As we go down, should I get a sense of what the map looks like? Well, I guess that was a very vertical map in a sense that we're forced to go a path that I'm not sure we want to go. We'll see how this all fares. But uh, we'll, we're just moving until then. Alright, we found the top. That's good. I'm considering um, returning back to the entrance and heading left. I think that's actually a proper routing. Um, I think I'll do that if I fight Axis Mundy. Yeah, that's going to be my decision making maker. Because Axis Mundy is... Um, the furthest to the right, so I think I will be heading right from now. And if I make it all the way to the far right exit, and I still haven't found what I'm looking for, then I'll... Ooh. So the entrance is not 100% above castle. Ooh. Axis Mundi is right here. Wow. That's actually really lucky for us, as far as I care. As far as I care, we have a weird castle today. And we're finding a lot of the pieces. We already know where Axis Mundi is, and we didn't even have... Because it's right next to another teleport, we don't even have to open it up and waste time with that. Alright, we have a path down. Not worth... I have book already. That's nice. Mmm. Blessing of wisdom isn't as much worthwhile. Thanks for the good luck, God Loki. How's it going? Oh my. Mmm. Alright. Focus. Next hit could kill. Where do I find book? There. Sorry. Where do I find dash? So it seems like it's near the exit. We can't take another hit, so we have to be careful. And we are not... Don't... We are not picking up. Just got off our 11-hour shift. Jeez, man. Yeah, that's a long day. Alright. Could be down here, and could be just anywhere connected down here. There we are. Got it. Oof. 
Always good to find it when you're close. When your life's on the line. Alright. Our hope is that we finish this, defeat Lamech with a good amount of health, and um, then leverage that health in the Stygian study. Have I just started? Yes, this is the first run, as you can see, we're five minutes in about. So... Yep. That's kind of the purpose of the timer. Like, I don't really look at the timer too much. It gives me a sense of how good I'm doing, but that's really it. Um, but yeah, the main purpose of the timer is honestly so that when people pop in, they can know how far in we are. Because by... Like, there's no real place for me to put... Um, like, if, if I put little notches of, like, oh, well, I'm this far, um, we move... How do I say it? I might take detours and stuff in the run to help me myself do another thing more effectively later on. So if I have all those um, timers of, I'm supposed to be done with this phase at this time, this phase at this time, like, they're, they're going to get messed up so quickly in this run. That's not worth doing. So the timer is really just there to help people get a sense of how far in the run I am, because technically, like, it's been a very long time since I've done it, but I once um, did a run where I didn't face the mech until really late in the run. Ended up being a bad idea, but, like, there's nothing forcing me to do the run early or anything like that. Yeah, splits. There they are. Yeah. I did splits back when I first started running this, and it just, like, a golden split basically meant nothing, because it just, all it meant is that this time I did a little more setup prior to make sure that the split was easy. You know, something like that. Splits really didn't mean much. Alright, 191 health. One hit lower than I want to be, but still high enough. We'll teleport over to Stygian Study, and then back to Axis Mundi. Alright. Do bosses feel easier after having done their Prime versions? I feel really bosses feel easier after doing them a hundred times. The Prime versions, like, they're easier than the Prime versions, but I wouldn't say um, doing the Prime versions makes the bosses feel easier. Um, like, I'd have to think of a boss that I was struggling with and then I did the Prime of, but the feat is, the only boss that there's really a Prime for that I've been struggling with is Enoch. And I don't think facing the Prime version has really helped me with that too much. So in case you remember, we're trying to find Gone Heads. And then um, with the Gone Heads teleport, we just teleport out of here. Alright, that's... Murmur's good. But we can still get Gone Heads. Alright. Now we're in danger. This is really good if I can get out alive with this. Which is not exactly the easiest theme. Oof. Got gone heads. Awesome. Oof. 69 HP. Nice. It happens. I do not know why the numbers line up like that, but that actual, num the actual amount of health is actually far more common than you'd expect. Uh. Anyways, we have a ton of health. Our crits are now actually worth the while. So, we can if we could get um if we could consistently get the enemies vulnerable, it's going to be valuable. 
Dev 1000 IQ planning. Basically, I mean, that was the plan. We were going in there to... Oh, you're saying that the number 69 came up. Yeah, I guess. Just like, we're going to calculate like this. Specifically so that one speedrunners or people that do one life runs play the game. They are constantly at the nicest number. Hmm. Then again, like, that meme does die very quickly. Hate to tell you this, but... Hmm. How's it going, sweet cute? Oh, speaking of the number 69, um, I when I did Super Smash Bros, I remember there was a combo that I ha that I was practicing that um, it only works at low percents, but it was always doing like exactly 69% um, damage to the opponent. So that was another example of that number coming up just randomly. But yeah. Well, these that's funny when you bring up, but then what keeps coming up, it's just like, uh, well, the meme died fast. Turns out we are actually adults, and... Hmm. So if you're scarcely here these days, hey, don't worry about Suigood, you have life to live. I know you've been getting, like, um, things with... I know, like, lo last time you were saying how you were getting raises at stuff at work. When did I play Smash? So, I never... I haven't played on stream, but, um... I grew up with Smash. My bro um, it, the original Smash Bros. was the first game that I bought um, as a kid, basically. Like, it was the first game that I had a say in what we're getting as a video game. The original Smash Bros. back on the N64. And because of that, Smash has had, like... It's been, like, a theme in my family to always play Smash every once in a while. Um, so everyone in my family plays Smash to some degree. Um, as for how good I am, um, I think the phrase is, um, too good to play with friends, too bad to ever make it through pools. That, if you see me in the competitive scene, I'm getting my face kicked in, but if you see me just, like, you play f with me for fun, I'm going to just three-stock you. It's basically the way I describe it. Because I've played with a few people that are competitive, and I am proud to say I was not three-stocked myself, but I did not stand much chance. Um, yeah, yeah, everyone, even my parents, yeah, dad was, my dad was the major person that kind of pushed us to get good, because he would always kick our butts with Pikachu. Uh, my mom, I, th my mom didn't play too often, she usually played Mario Party with us, not Super Smash Bros, but yeah, everyone. Sister also liked Pikachu, stuff like that. Oof. Oop, me. But yeah, Super Smash Bros. has a fond place in my heart. Um... Yeah, not pulling his punches. He did pull his punches. He just wants to get good at the process. You know, one of those loving. I'm. I love you. So get good at certain moments. I guess. Uh, da nah, da. Nah. We got good because Dad went easy on us. All right. Well, we have a ton of health if we can leverage it. Thanks. Well, glad I left when I did, given that there's chasers and stuff in that room. Ooh. We're finding a lot of meat, or at least statistically high amounts of meat. Yep, third apple. Now the fourth. <laughs> if it's the fourth, I'm I'm just gonna heal. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna heal, make sure I don't need to worry about, like, dying in this run, but like, oh my gosh, fourth apple, guys. 
fourth apple. I really wasn't expecting a fourth apple, and I just chose to play it safe like a scaredy cat because I'd rather not die here. I allow it to leverage the extra health, not just die to it. Alright, come on. There we go. Spawn out a good time. Yeah, so I gotta read all of the um, comments in just a bit, but... Wow. These in-unison attacks are perfect for me. No! They broke sequence. Gosh darn it. So whenever you cast a spell, the um, using your shield is delayed. And it keeps messing me up. Alright. There's some ships at work we're all still getting used to. Ooh, but I just had two weeks of vacation. I was absorbed in Final Fantasy XIV. I put 170 hours in it in two weeks. My gosh, my gosh. Yeah, great time investment. If you're having fun, it's worth the time. That sort of stuff. Um, did you have a main character you played? I'll get into that because that is it's a, a long story of how I main characters. Um, yeah, third apple. You'll never see another doctor after all of these apples. I don't think that. Yeah, this character will definitely never see another doctor. Uh, <laughs> the more apples, the bigger the chance for diarrhea. Well. This character doesn't have IBS as a trait, so I think I'm safe there. Also, that probably explains. Well, how about I just don't talk about that on stream? Anyways, I like apples in real life. Ooh. Third Atropo Scissors. Oof. I hope you learned that in the textbook, not the hard way. Uh. I'll take fungal spread. I'll take fungal spread. And here's a the theme. Fungal burst is also awesome. Because it apply, um, the explosion is, um, crit. The explosion is crit damage. And I have two Atropo Scissors. So, crit is actually valid and valuable. Okay. Gosh darn it. Can't kill this warg. This ain't a good place. By the way, I'm, I hate to tell you this, but I'm happy I took it out with the apple. Uh, great things come in threes. Yeah, you can aim fungal spore. I just usually shoot it forward because it's basically a shotgun effect. And, you know, valuable while shot in front of me. But yeah, it's cardinal direct. It's the same. Um, I have to shoot at cardinal directions because I have a different setup than most, but. That sort of stuff. In my opinion, the skeletons should have been better. Hmm. In what way? Like, harder? So, like, the skeletons should have been stronger? Or, like, do they just not meet your expectations? Like, better is such, like, a vague word, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. In what way do they need, should they have been better? Ooh. Borgs. Well, technically, it wasn't the warg that killed me. But yeah, dangerous room. <sighs> 
Sometimes you get those dangerous rooms. That's all I have to say about that. And yeah. Big F, anytime I die before I get to the Maw, it's a big F. Nowadays. Nowadays, you're supposed to complete the area all the way through the sun. Like. Nowadays, to keep up with the statistics, with the numbers, you have to do a lot. Alright. Let's just really quick check what equipment we have. Other weapon. We have Scholar Cape. I am happy. We have Scholar Cape. And we still need level, so I'm grabbing that. Ooh. First four bosses on one life would probably be ideal. Um... So, to be clear, they should have had a lot of attacks, and then you need to learn their patterns, like the estuaries. Oh, they should have had more attacks. Okay. Um, makes sense. I think the argument was just that because there's two of them, it's a lot more to, like, account for. So, I know a lot of people, like, when they release those two, there was actually a lot of complaints about the bosses, the, that boss being too hard. So... Worth noting that just because it was easy for you or for me, does not mean it was easy for everyone. Alright, this is the room I died in. There's another lily. Alright. Cool. We have not found a ma yet, so I'll have to work on that later. Oof. But yeah, um... According to, um... Why can I not think of his name right now? In Mindful Lines runs, last time I saw him, his runs, he actually just, um, explores the entire castle with his first life. And then beats Nama, Enoch, and Irad with the second character after he's gone buffed up. Um, but I've definitely been trying to get it where I kill the bosses on the I kill a lot of the bosses on the first life, and I yeah want to kill a lot of the bosses then. Ooh. But yeah, the skeleton boss, I do think that they could probably do with one additional attack. Um, but I don't think they need to be harder because they are just the second boss. And when you're first coming into them, they are pretty complicated. There's, you know, facing two different enemies at the same time is tough, so. I think the skeleton boss is fine, but it's all opinion. What's the current world record? Um, something like 52 minutes. So, I mean, and like, I know I'm capable of that myself. I still need to find the moss, so I'm gonna head this way. Great. <sighs> yeah, no, that's a armored war. That's an armored super war. Not facing that. 52? Last time I checked it was 26 minutes. Last time you checked was before the newest patch. If the last time you checked it was 26 minutes, then you have not seen the new Paishan Dry Lakes, we could. Yeah. Suicude, wait until you see the new area. Wait until you see Paishin. There's a reason that's 52 minutes now. Because, yeah, when it was 26 minutes, I do remember I had the PB at, like, 
around 26 minutes back on Far Shores. But Far Shores was a long time ago. I was, okay, I was constantly told it's Pyshen, not Fission. Because I pronounced it Fission, and then everyone was saying it was Pyshen. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, they, they actually pronounce it Pyshen in the commercial. Like, P-I-S-H-O-N. So it's Pyshen, as far as I understand. But yeah, that place is insane. They just call it the Pi. Or we could just call it Hell, which is probably more appropriate. There we are. Is it that hard? It, um, yeah. In case you're wondering, this entire run has been rerouted to allow you to get to level 30, because we need to get to level 30 for that last boss. How do you pronounce Ronan and Sharon? So, I will state that I don't pronounce everything perfectly, but I've, I think it's Ronan and Sharon. Um, it might be Karen, not Sharon, but... Like, that's how I pronounce Like, I'm wondering, are you asking how is it pronounced properly, or how do I pronounce it? Because those are two... In a lot of cases, those are quite different questions. Yeah, Charon. I mean, that's basically how I pronounce it, so I'd say you're correct. And the most important part is that you are understood. Like, the more you play with the English language, the more you play with English speaking, native speaking English people, um, the more you realize they really don't care how you pronounce things, they care that they understood what you just said. Like, that's why we're able to make fun of accents while still um, talking in a way that's understood. Like, it's just because, yeah, some people pronounce these weirdly, but we know what they're saying, so who cares? It's fun. English is hard, and I can't type. Yep. Ah, uh, what is it? Dearest creature of creation, learning English pronunciation. Um, for all those who think English is easy, go read a poem called The Chaos. Every country pronounces it differently. Wow. I'm English in the UK, and let's say accents can be clear and easy to illegible. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, there's plenty of Western accents. Um, oh my gosh. So, I just want you... If anyone has ever heard of Keen of the Hill, um, there's a character on that called Boomhauer, and I need you to understand, like, you could go ahead and Google it and watch it and whatever it is if you've ever heard of Keen of the Hill. And understand that Boomhauer is based on an actual accent over there in the West. As in, there are people who pronounce, who that's how they pronounce things, and they're native English speakers, so that might be the only way they talk. So... Yeah, just... So if you ever feel like your accent's a little rough around the edges, just... Just watch that show and listen to the character Boomhauer. 
But yeah, I think, it, I think it's beautiful in a way, because as you watch it more and more, you'll figure out that he's not speaking gibberish. He's actually speaking proper words. And, um, like, I can actually understand Boomhauer because, as I said, it's an actual way that people pronounce things. Um, I don't suggest you speak like Boomhauer, but I'm just saying that, like, if you do, you could still be understood as long as you're around people like that who can't understand it. And there's a lot of big comments, but I can't read them while facing this boss, because it's just a little... This boss will kill me in two hits, and I need to take zero to make it to the next area safely. Alright. I was pronounced Guardian as Chardian until I was corrected like two years ago, and I'm speaking English for about 15 years now. Hey, at least he got corrected. Have you seen Letter Kenny? I have no idea what they're saying 100% of the time. Um, oh yeah, Firewolf. By the way, how's it going, Firewolf? Thanks for coming by. Um, yeah, I don't expect everyone to chat, so thank you for chatting now. But yeah, King of the Hill. Um, just best quote. King of the Hill, Boomhauer, best quotes. <laughs> just. <laughs> I just understand that that's an actual accent. Alright, we have health. Let's leverage it to find Enoch. Safer to go here. Apparently when I'm from the accent we speak is one of the hardest to speak, but it's because we like to remove letters, so the house... Because house, house becomes house, and... Horse becomes horse. Alright, well, yeah, removing your H's. Like, I can handle that. I can see why other people can't, though. Okay. I couldn't stay for the money. I wanted to, but I couldn't. Alright. I want the white star. I think the damage is significant enough that's justifiable over the protection of the other. Alright, there we are. Isn't that just every bracket? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Boomhauer, his mouth is moving, but there's no sense coming from him. <laughs> basically! No, no, basically! And like. Like I said, that's an actual accent. That's an actual accent. <laughs> I know it seems unbelievable, but that's an actual accent. Oh my gosh. But yeah, no, no, no. It took, even as a native English speaker, it takes me quite some time before I figured out how Boomhauer speaks. I think it was like, I watched three seasons of the show before I started understanding the accent. Uh. <laughs> uh. But yeah, so if you apparently um, over in Japan, when they talk about King of the Hill, there's a big fight of subs versus dubs. And my general argument is, look, if you don't have subs, you just cannot understand what it means that Boomhauer talks like Boomhauer. Uh, like you'll notice if you watch the show, everyone else acts as if they understand him because he's actually saying words. He's actually saying words. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm real sorry for the dumb that has to translate Boom Hour's nonsense. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh gosh. In the film Hot Fuzz, I think it's called where this guy... Yeah, I remember Hot Fuzz. It was like the buddy cop parody where one guy was super serious and the other one literally could not take their job seriously. And like the entire town like has all this weird stuff. But this guy who speaks illegible English and it's translated slightly less illegible English to then proper English. Hmm. Oh, right, right. They're interviewing someone. And he's like talking weird. He's like, "What?" He's like, "Oh, I think he's saying." He's like, 
Okay, can you... So, like, they have to translate, like, three times or whatever. I remember what you're talking about now. Wait, what am I doing? I need to kill Murmur. Alright. People from Somerset have the worst, thickest country accents you've ever heard. Good to know. But, like, I'm fine with country accents. I grew up... Like, not too far away from it, so... Like, personality-wise, I guess I should say. Um, like, my, you know, country music and all that, like, were feeds that my family liked. So, I ended up being exposed to it a lot. So, it's not too intimidating for me, but I can see how it's intimidating for even other native English speakers. Alright, I don't know how many invincibility frames I have, so I'm just going to play it safe. Can you do a country accent? Yeah, bye howdy, boy. I think I can do at least a little bit. Not sure how much it's gonna stick, but I can do it. Uh. Anywho. Now to head to the area of Burnin' England, where they get Beck's accent, take Scotland and Welsh, put together. You can't have a broomy accent, that's how I would describe it. Very thick and broad standing. I've never seen Kingdom of Hell, just looked it up. He makes complete sense. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. As I said, it's just an a it's an accent for some people. Like Alright. Me too, I understand 80 to 90% of it, so yeah, it's not so bad. I can't tell what your accent is, it just sounds American to me. Yep, that's my actual, yeah, my actual accent's just American. Sometimes I use bro and sup and stuff, so I, I am from California. But, yeah, as far as I understand, like, I mean, most people don't see themselves as having an accent, as far as I understand. I don't think of myself as I have an accent. I just, I speak, you know? I would say with me, it's less that I have an accent, and more that I have a way of speaking. Where I use terms like bro and dude more than I should, and just being way more, like, unprofessional than most people are expected to see, expect to see. I'm so used to American English that I don't see it as an accent, but as, an, but as standard English. Good to hear, good to hear. Um, 
I just watched that Boomhauer guy from Gia Hill. Let's just say I stood it fully, probably because I'm kind of used to people speaking like that. I bet. Yep. Nope. Like, I will say that um, some people aren't aren't used to that level of accent tree, and therefore, like, that's like for some people, Boomhauer is tough to watch. All right, we just go up. Gotta keep going. Ah, uh, darn you, skeleton. All right, first thing I need to know. This banner has actually been putting in some real work for me. I need to consider that for next time I get offered the banner. All right. Well, that didn't go as planned. Can't pick those up. I have too low of health. How are you looking? Looking fine. Alright, it's good going up. I don't like that. Stop that. Thank you. Ah, well, I'll pick up this chest, but I hate dead ends, man. Like, look at this. Now I have to climb all the way back down. Take a dip. All right, so we're doing something kind of risky. Are you kidding me? All that exploration there. Look. <laughs> I don't like it, but it's over now. Woo! Go in here for safety. This is a, this is the scariest part, cause any hit kills me, and there's a lot of places to get hit there. All right, guess what? I'm all right because I have this. Accents are okay. It's pronunciation and spelling in America and England that aggravate me like aluminum. Love how Americans say aluminum. Um, it sounds so cute. Oh, aluminium, not aluminum. Huh. I do know like Aeon and Eon are the same thing, it's just whether you start art with an A or not. I don't really understand that myself. Um, the different spellings of color, I... That doesn't really affect most people though, I don't think. Oh my gosh, I just realized how good this dash is for this room.
Perfect. Okay, just a sec. As a Brit, we say uh, aluminium in EM. Yeah, Americans go aluminium. Um, God, I can't s I can't spell pronunciation. Oh yeah, aluminum. Yeah, we definitely um, go with the O oh, pretty deep. Um, trash versus rubbish? Yeah, I guess, yeah, this is rubbish. But yeah, Americans use trash more. Pavement? Oh yeah, Americans need to know it's sidewalk, not pavement. Roundabout and circle, trunk and boots, pants and underwear, the list goes on. None of the little things. I don't know, I find it fun. Okay, so my jacket is actually getting caught up in my wrist. And it's actually making it a little annoying. Oh. Well, that ain't good. Oh my gosh, went to kick off of that, and then the bomb got it first. There we are. I'm going to have to read comments after I'm done with this fight because apparently I can't do this fight while blindfolded. Sorry, but no blindfolded IRAD just yet. I'm not worried about getting this fight done, I'm worried about not having enough health to do anything else with this character. Mm. <laughs> Freedom and miracle! <laughs> yep. The difference between freedom and freedom! Yeah! <laughs> Cookies and biscuits. Um, I used to watch... Okay, UK Top Gear was salt. Like, I will say American Top Gear was garbage. You watch... You have to watch Captain Slow and the rest of them if you're watching Top Gear. Uh... Uh, crisps and chips were the one that was the most aggravating. But either way, um, pancakes and I remember it was something with muffins. I mean, we have waffles, pancakes, and but waffles are different than pancakes. Unless you're talking like pancake and syrup, but I don't think that's what you're going for there. All right. All to the right. Here's your warning that this is the one point where I even where I touch the mouse. Just do that scroll back there. So I guess technically, yeah, I have mouse and keyboard as my control scheme. If anyone was asking, if anyone was wondering. I just skipped on meat. Doesn't matter. Meat would not have changed my survive my survival right here. Why is everything going left when I need to go right? I don't appreciate it.
Yes, that would have killed me in one shot if that hit me. Oh my gosh. Alright, one's straight up. Alright, found a key. Alright, we're gonna hope that that right there is the dragon, because the dragon gives me a teleport. Oh my gosh. Oh, can't dash because I need to have that open. Alright, we're gonna hope that this breaks the... Good. Because if that didn't break it in, I didn't have any resources to break it. Oof. Easy, could have done it blindfolded. Missile versus missile. Yep. That's another good one. Alright. So we can do that anytime. Let's just get the pearl key real fast. Why not? And yeah, okay, I think I ha I have enough health that I can take one hit and be fine here. All right, so this takes 45 of a resolve, so we're at half health, and we have to immediately give the key away. Thank you for being here, Mr. Dragon. All right. Oof. Is this so cool? Hell? Looks like sewers. Yep. I mean, of course, hell is gonna smell like deep shit. Ah, uh, I need to stop cussing, man. Why was it hovering over- Oh, because my mouse. Right. Why did Jabal just leave his book outside the dragon? Why didn't he take it with him like everything else? Um, so, as far as I understand, it was actually, um, the other estuary, the skeleton boys, who shoved him inside the dragon, because they hated him. Tubal didn't choose to be in the dragon. The dragon chose him. Alright, well, we have an issue, everyone. So, while the black, the black key is that last room... So, yeah, the black key is that last room. We have access to the black door pretty easily, but we need to grab the key so we can actually go in. So, that last light at the end of the tunnel, we have to get all the way over there without dying. Alright. Well, we have two choices. Hypercoag? Alright. Let's use Hypercoag. We're going to beat the... Um, we'll use this Hypercoag to beat the Silver Room. Alright. We now need... I can get times five, but then I don't have enough. Alright. Need two more. There we are. Had to be careful. Alright. Locked. Good. Uh, watch out for saw blades. I stepped down and just heard blah 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 without dying, then proceeds to die. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Alright. Should say good luck, what have I done? Shame. For shame. For shame. Hmm. Alright. Well. Let's kill this boss. We have... Well, that's okay. We have... Hypercoag, so... We have all the health we need. Or... Theoretically, we do. I was gonna say, did I just break that the character model there? 
Thanks. I killed both with that? Awesome! Alright. Boxer is so good for two ball, that's why we have- we put Boxer in the root. So in case you're wondering, Suicude, we have to actually unlock this additional class because it is so necessary for this fight, for the way this game- this battle progresses. We had to actually add these- this guy to the root. Alright. Yeah, it's way out there. Best way to get way out there is through here. Are you better not? With hypercoag, you always grab the health increase. Ooh. I'm lucky that it didn't go off. Alright, so it's the furthest right here. Got it. Awesome. Now I just need to grab the key. Without getting killed. Easier said than done. Alright, watch out for saw blades. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I wasn't watching for them, so thanks to your words, I have actually effectively considered them in my run. Oof. Alright. I believe it's just down, right? Yep. There we are. Oh gosh. Thanks. Awesome. There we are. They did not have enough health. They only had 1 to 32 max, which meant two hits.
A contrarian boxer. We'll see how this fares. I don't have the highest hopes for it. Won't deny it. Alright. Alright, I think I'm gonna head to bed now, though. Really exhausted. Have a good one. Cool. Um, if this contrarian boxer works, I could probably have a PB. So that's pretty awesome. Alright. Yeah, yeah, you get some rest, man. Don't you do watch out for the sword to not get hit? You did. Oh, no. I just realized I don't have my talent, which usually makes me not have to worry about the hordes. Alright. Well... I thought I'd try it, but Hephaestus only does so much damage. What kind of BS is that spinning attack? It's a fabled weapon, and I'm not sure if you noticed, but it was dealing horrible damage. No damage at all. It could have worked, but... Really, I just need to go get my, um... I just need to get a proper boxer. So yeah, if that, let's get a proper box. The last one was a perfectionist. You now we have a vampire. All right, I'm going to be a dwarf. I'm going to be inside of Tubal the entire time, basically. So dwarfism shouldn't be an issue. It is worth noting if I had more gold, I could have gone ward and weapon, but I think it's unimportant. Um, if I yeah, so for those who don't know. Um, Boxer has the elusive trait, so I'm all- so that means that as long as the enemy is not attacking, they have no hitbox. So I can just stand inside the boss and attack from, like, basically the range where it cannot miss. Like so. And then when it does this attack, I just move out. Dwarf just punching at two balls ankles till he dies. Uh. So yeah, here's the biggest problem. In addition to the fact that I have to actually get a boxer that doesn't have traits that ruin me, I need to get consistent on this fight, which I'm not. That being said, this lightning orb might be the spell. I think lightning orb is better than... Um, flame barrier on this one because um for the same reason it's good um lightning orb is better against irad it doesn't move much this one does move but like with one attack yeah i don't know what oh background music or Yeah, you can't see the enemies. Uh. When you're at a hard boss, but you can't concentrate because the music is epic. Uh. So 
So yeah, if you want to understand why this boss is hard, understand that the boss can also summon, it can summon its second phase, has an additional projectile that you have to worry about, it summons enemies that you have to worry about, and one of its attacks creates falling um, daggers, which continue falling, which you have to worry about. So there are four things you have to worry about at any given time as you get further in the fight. Ah, wasn't recharging time. Need to get off. So not as hard as Absolute Radiance. Um, that fight just RNG he heck with attacks like, do you want homing missiles and laser swords? Um, whilst platforming nowhere, there you go. Anyways, um, I have faced through Absolute Radiance. Um, yeah, definitely Absolute Radiance is extremely hard. Um. Do keep in mind, I will say that the fact that I only have two hits and then I'm dead versus Absolute Radiance, where at Absolute, well, I guess at Absolute Minimum you also have two hits till you're dead, but usually you should have nine hearts, which means that you have a bit more leeway. Daggers there. There we go. Alright. Yeah, exactly. You're probably better equipped for Absolute Radiance than 2-Ball. I will state that if you level up against 2-Ball, 2-Ball is not very hard. 
But it's the fact that you have so many fiends you have to worry about at the same time that makes you ball hard. Yep. The saying dark iframes helps as well. If I ever did absolute radiance, that would be my response to the week's discussion. <laughs> Alright. Got my GG's. Thank you every thank you very much, everyone. Did I get so here's the big question. In game time, did I get sub one hour? I did not. So I think that misses my PB as well by a minute, but I know I can reach sub an hour, and we haven't finished. Have you ever tried any Radiance? Yes, I got 100%, 112% completion on Hollow Knight using, gain the dream, gain all the endings. I got all the endings. Um, oh, can you talk to the dragon? Yes, you can. Um, the dragon has a whole story beat where he talks about, that's how I know that, like, Two Ball was shoved in there by one of the other estuaries who realized he betrayed them. That sort of stuff. So, you can talk to the dragon, and more importantly, Non, you can pet the dragon. You can pet the dragon. 